right guys, so I caught three different types of catfish. I have a channel catfish, a blue catfish, and a flathead catfish. And I'm gonna do a little taste test. They're all pretty close to the same size, but I'm gonna have my sisters, myself, and see which one tastes the best. So I'll try some non-seasoned, and I'll go ahead and bake these guys. But this is the channel, this is the blue catfish, this is the flathead. And now for all these three species, I target them a little bit different to catch them. So the channel catfish, I was fishing on the bottom with the worms on a size 1-0 one hook. Now the blue catfish, I was targeting by fishing on the bottom with a dead gizzard shad. That was about 1-2 to two inches on a size 3 aught circle hook. And then the flathead, these guys like live bait, so him I hooked up a live gizzard shad about two inches, dropped him down next to some stru structure off the dock and caught the flathead. So flatheads really like that live bait, caught them on the live bait. Blue catfish, they like cut baits or dead baits. They'll take live baits too. The channel catfish, they usually take smaller stuff like dough baits and worms. So that's how I caught these three, but now I'm gonna go ahead and fillet them up and then we'll do a little taste testing and see which one tastes better, the channel, the blue, or the flathead. Pretty close in size and from the same body of water, so we'll see which one tastes better, and stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm using four pound test line, a little bit of split shot, and I had a live, just probably one and a half inch shad that I caught in my cast net. I was actually trying to catch some crappie and ended up with a nice little flathead, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get him in here. The flathead are also excellent eating. I have to be careful because I have such a low pound test line. So we got him worn out, and there we go. You can tell he's a flathead because he got his color. And then also they have a lot less teeth. They're a lot more fine. So blue catfish and channel catfish is going to be a lot more rigid here. Flathead catfish, it's like really fine sandpaper, which is why noodling, you don't get your hands ripped up as much as with blue or channel catfish. But this right here is a nice little flathead catfish. Good eater size. All right, I think we have something on, but it took me into a snag. If I can get out of the snag, and I think I might have just got out of the snag. Oh yeah, we got something on. It's not huge, but I'm gonna guess it's a catfish since we're fishing on the bottom. And I was using three small gizzard shad that were dead, all about one to two inches. And that is a nice little blue catfish, guys. Let's go ahead and get them on here, but I'm using a size Three aught to four aught circle hook. You can tell it's a blue catfish a lot by its color. See some beautiful blue hue to him. These gizzard shad strapped on his bait, and he nailed it. All right, guys, we got something on. Worm with about I think this is a six pound test line. Let's hope it's a channel, and that is a channel. We got what we needed. Debating if I should throw him on here, and we got him. All right, now we have a channel, a blue, and a flathead catfish to try and go ahead and eat. All right, so now I have the flathead filleted, the channel catfish, and the blue catfish. Flatheads have a lot of good belly meat from each catfish. So blue catfish, channel catfish, flathead catfish. We'll go ahead and bake these and see how they taste. All right, so we got all three catfish fillets here. First of all, we got the flathead catfish right here. We got the belly meats on the side. We got the channel catfish right here. And then finally, we got the blue catfish in this corner. Now I've seasoned half of it because the other half, I want to make sure I get the true flavors of the fish. For some reason, even on fish, I love Chicago steak seasoning. Sometimes I'll put New Orleans Cajun seasoning, um, but today I was just really feeling the steak seasoning. I know it's fish, but we'll go ahead and we'll put it in the oven. It's set at 375 degrees. It'll probably take 10 to 15 minutes to cook. And you know it's done when it flakes real easy, so we'll go ahead and get it in there and it'll be done in 10, 15 minutes. All right, so the fish is out of the oven. It took about 15 minutes at 375 degrees. So now let's go ahead and try some. So I'm gonna start off with the channel catfish. We'll go ahead and it flakes pretty easily so you know it's done. Try a piece of the non-seasoned channel catfish. Pretty good, there's really not a whole lot of fishy taste. Kind of like the restaurant type catfish, that's usually what you're eating is channel catfish. Now let's go ahead and try some of the flathead, non-seasoned. And that one has a little more flavor to it. I actually, and it's not a fishy flavor. So right now, the flathead is at the top in my opinion. Finally, we will try a bit of this blue catfish. Try a piece right here. 
and the blue catfish was very close to the channel. So for me, I think the flathead was the best, followed by the blue catfish and then the channel catfish. They're all fairly close in flavor, not a huge difference. I think the flathead was the most different than all three of the three, but a uh, pretty good fish overall. All right, my sister Kinsey is gonna try some of the catfish. She's gonna start out with the channel catfish. We'll see how she likes it. You, Kinsey, you can try the seasoned or the unseasoned, whatever one you want. Okay, I'm trying All right, this. blue catfish. How is it? Yes, no? Tastes good. All right. All right, now channel catfish. Which one was better, the blue or the channel? I think the blue. Okay. It's another piece of blue catfish. And then try some flathead catfish over here, one of those two. So which the one? The flathead's the best. The flathead, that's what I was thinking too. So two for the flathead. And then what was the second best, the blue or the channel? The blue. The blue, that's exactly how I was thinking. All right, so devoured a lot of the fish and my two sisters and my mom tried it and myself. And so I'll kind of give you what everyone thought about it. For me, I thought the flathead catfish was the best, followed by the blue catfish and then the channel. They were all pretty close and they were all good, but the flathead definitely won out for me. For my mom, it was the channel catfish. And for my oldest sister, it was also the flathead catfish that was the best. For my youngest sister, she thought they were all too close to make a call. So for me, I really think the flathead has the least fishy taste. Um, it had a really good, a little bit of a good flavor to it. The blue catfish, I would say it had no fishy taste at all, but it didn't have as much flavor. And then the channel catfish almost had a little bit of a fishy taste, which I didn't like about it. Um, but they're all still good nonetheless. And so honestly, you can't go wrong with any of the three fish species. I happen to like flathead a little bit more, but I hope you enjoyed this video and best of luck fishing.